Camping Black Chin Champas for two days, 25 hours of in-game time, with the goal being to have PKers directly hop into the world that I would be standing in, so that I can then surprise them with an ice barrage on my main account, or a tele block on my 20 defense pure. Ladies and gentlemen, at today's video, we are only focusing on one thing and one thing only, and that is PKing the PKers. Had a pretty lengthy fight with this guy here who was on normal spell books. Uh, so, you know, it's never fun being tele blocked, so we got that Void Waker spec in there, and we did take him down as well as uh, killing a revenant bot on the way there 200k from the rev bot and 600k from the pk'er this guy here i fought three different times but my void waker failed every fight so i swapped to an armado god sword and you know it looks like i should have had that the whole time the inferno cape as well 12.8 mil got a nice hgs pk such incredible loot so far from these pk'ers over at black chin champas but let's switch it up a little bit now and move on to my 20 defense pure swerve's house we're working on range this week trying to aim for 99 slowly but surely i did train in nightmare zone just like always and i did go from level 90 range all the way to 94 i'm also nearing 99 strength and i'll make sure to get that at the very end of the video be a nice conclusion to uh quite a story these last couple days at black chin champas but here we are in the midst of battle this lower level pk or here happened to hop into my world and i instantly scold up so it was unfortunate that he was unscold but he pulled out the claws and i pulled out the mall and i did manage to get the kill now like i said he wasn't scold but check out this loot key it's absolutely insane 7 million gp i am not sure what that guy was risking but man i wish he was scold and now a little update on my 10 hp build a lot of you guys have been asking me uh how this account's been going currently it's all right we've just been splashing a little bit of magic we did end up with 72 magic from the seagulls and then i wanted to move on to the castle wars ogres with the cannon of course not getting any hit points experience just range and we did manage to not only hit 70 range and unlock black dehyde but we did close at 72 so now we're 72 range and 72 magic we can equip a nightmare staff if that means anything and i figured i'd go on over to the chin champas and check on how they're doing because uh, you know went so well last time still haven't died on this account as easy as it may be so i figured i was already on two accounts just camping the world waiting for these pkers to log in why not take a little bit of a break uh, from all the standing and go kill a couple uh, black chin champas bots i actually got the fishing pet on this account two days ago so yeah i felt pretty lucky at this current point in time and all of a sudden a guy struck up a conversation with my main so i figured all right let me get him off guard spec him down real quick but i guess my confidence got the best of me so uh yeah uh, you know i guess his dark bow and Oh, is that an amulet of accuracy as well? Wow. Well, it sure was accurate. You know, had I killed this guy for his blue party hat and the other runescape, then this would have changed my life. But unfortunately, it's not worth that much in this game. 200k from him. It's so nice being 85 combat because being this deep in the wilderness means that I can attack guys like this. This is a level 67 and it seems to be someone who actually doesn't even have overhead prayers. And you can tell he wants them because he went out of his way to compliment mine. So either way, it's, it's really easy to kill these guys and this is definitely not the only one that I ran into in the last two days. I think I ended up killing about five of these guys. And once you tele block them, it's game over. Two million GP loot. And that's on the lower end. Uh, you know, it's much more risk to be seen from those account builds. Now, since I was multi-logging and the wilderness is very dangerous, I would always make sure to log out on whatever account wasn't getting attacked on at the time. Uh, so, for example, this guy logged in. It was a pretty lengthy fight, but overall we did get him with that Void Waker in the end. Some really nice loot as well enchanted set you don't see that too often uh 2.2 mil from him but multi-logging does have its upsides this guy was attacking me and on swerve's house i try to never attack people that are much higher level than me because the odds of killing them with a the granite mall is much lower than say killing them with a void waker so i lured him in the multi-combat and my main account did take over and i didn't even have to use the special attack towards the end there luckily he was praying mage and we meleeed so we got a very nice kill 3.2 mil i did actually get the key on my 20 defense pier rather than my main so that was a nice one to get but either way back to the chin champas i love the combination where you throw the fire surge and at the same time that the hit triggers the granite mall spec follows it it's such a nice combo and it's really hard to tank especially with a lot of these guys being one defense and all this pk or here must have forgot that if you're tele blocked you can't use an obelisk so uh i kind of reminded him there and yeah i mean he had a tome of water so i don't know what he was thinking anyway not much from him and uh 
little close call from the main account. You know, you're always going to have some close calls with the Void Waker, and this guy had so many keys, but unfortunately, he got away. That's definitely one downside of being on Ancients. You know, sometimes when I use the Granite Mall spec, I manually click the special attack button, and then sometimes I just click the special attack bar. What do you guys prefer to do? I feel like it's switching it up keeps it a little interesting. This guy here is not a PKer. He is a Revenant bot, and a lot of these PKers actually target Rev bots. I mean, there's 200k from that guy. Not too much, of course, but a lot of these PKers love killing Rev bots, and they always run down to this level in Wilderness from the Rev cave, so it's a good way to uh, kind of startle them and also distract them, and sometimes they actually go for me instead, so it's a good way to get fights. I had absolutely no food at this point. I was venomed, and it was not looking good, but we did manage to kill that Toxic Staff PKer for 1.7 mil. I was surprised to see the combat bracelet there. You, you know, you think you'd have Myth Gloves or something like that, but either way, this guy here, again, another combat bracelet, uh, Tome of Fire, Mud Staff. That's what you really like to see. Uh, it's so easy to kill. I don't even think he had overhead prayers. 1.6 mil yet again. This uh, the, the amount of money that you can make from killing just the PKers at this location, it really can be absurd at some points. And you guys know me. I'm not that great of a PKer. So these guys, I feel like, are more so on my skill set than the guys that PK with, you know, like full crystal and whatnot. I think one thing that this guy will remember from this fight is always bring your anti-venom. Had that hit an 18, I would have been a couple mil richer and as well as that void waker hit there close calls you're always gonna have them in the wilderness and it is frustrating you know it never gets easier this guy was pretty interesting uh, i think he was just killing bots judging by his username but either way a nice 400k from him now when you're pking at chin champas and you're specifically just going for the pkers a lot of risk does come with it and i was risking uh, at this current point in time with this setup 28 million gp obviously the void waker spec failed there and yeah his armor still got sword did not so i did take the 28 mil loss but 100 that guy deserves it and yeah no bad words for me that was a good fight just missed the prayer there so we moved back on to swerve's house and this guy had two keys which now belong to me but seeing as you're pking with leather boots there wasn't much to get from him i don't know what's weirder this guy's outfit or his username or the fact that he killed me uh but yeah, it was probably one of the most embarrassing deaths I've had, especially when you don't protect the item. The wilderness gives and the wilderness takes, but luckily I had only lost about 3.6 mil, and seeing as I just killed this guy when I returned back to Chinchampas, I did get a 1.4 mil of it back right away, so that was not too bad. And I had a nice new hat, so I figured I'd, you know, try something a little bit new, like changing the fashion a little bit here. And unlike this guy, I was not dressed in full swamp arc, which I wish I had, but you need 50 defense for it. Either way, it's in the bank now. 3.2 mil looks like we made back all of our money so far from that 3.6 mil death and just from the pks in the beginning the main death is covered as well and this is what i was talking about earlier how that granite mall just isn't as accurate on these higher levels so i almost got that 106 but didn't manage it i did get a little lucky here by not dying but uh not lucky enough to get the kill unfortunately that would have been probably at least 100 mil so yeah, but we did get this guy, him and his Exerian hat. Not quite full crystal, but it's 185k. Back on Swerve's house, we got the leather boot guy once again throwing the entangles. Looks like he upgraded that uh, rune crossbow to a dragon crossbow, so hopefully we'll get that, but unfortunately not. Looks like we got 124k from him. Now, if you guys are curious as to why I decided to specifically choose Black Chin Champas as the area for today's video, it's mainly because it's one of the only areas that I haven't PK'd around on my main or on Swerve's house just on my lower level HP build. So I wanted to try something new. And on top of that, my girlfriend at the same time was hunting Black Chin Champas the whole time and she actually managed to catch about 8,500 in the time that it took to do this video. So if somebody logged in and started attacking her, we would just drag them to multi and there you go, we'd instantly get a fight. So it's kind of a win-win. Uh, you know, she got a lot of hunter levels and I got a lot of kills. Now at one point I did downgrade my gear. I wanted to try a different setup where I was only risking about 9 mil instead of 30 but unfortunately it didn't last too long yeah it's pretty unfortunate loss there but it is what it is you can't win them all i did manage to get this kill here uh while i was being dragged into multi and again you know i'm not the only one who does that little trick where you uh bring someone into multi-combat around this area so luckily i actually got away though 226k loot key and i think someone was fire blasting me so no wonder i got away but anyway here we have another max fight this voider here i really was feeling good about this one the void waker spec coming through for me not so much on the second one 
one, but either way, uh, this guy was hitting very high this whole fight. I was definitely down on supplies, but I really uh, still felt confident enough to stay, which was my biggest mistake. I should have known when he started the fight with a 50 from his ballista that he would 75 me with an HES. Was about a 15 mil loss there, so we can definitely recover from that. I did manage to kill a rev bot. I, you know, I didn't really go out of my way to kill them, but I got a nice 500k from him, and then another voider incident. I don't know what it is with these voiders. I just can't kill them. A nice reason to kill these rev bots, if you feel like it's worth it, is that sometimes they disconnect, and they just log in and stand there, which means they lose their plus one, which that guy, Avarice Amulet, 900k. Not bad at all. And of course, the normal loot from them, it's somewhat average. I mean, it just depends on what bracket you're killing. This guy gave me the unexpected Dragon Scimitar spec, so he took down my prayer, but then I took him down. So that's not not bad at all. Full blue mystic. I love that nostalgia. 332k from him. Had a little bit of a different look on Swerve at this point. We're wearing the magic hood as well as the wizard boots. Sometimes I go with climbing boots. Just depends if I want to hit higher with the mall or hit a little bit more accurate with my magic. Well, we got the return of leather boots guy. I still haven't actually looked at the usernames to see if this is the same person, but this guy also had leather gloves on. So I, I mean, I'm sure he's staying warm, but no DPS from him at all. Granite mall 360k. Now this is what people refer to as a whale. All of a sudden, this guy logged in and I did not miss a second. I had to throw that telly block. I saw the risk. I saw the keys and especially what he was wearing. And not to mention what he was wielding. None other than a 6.5 mil key, the Accursed Scepter with the ornament kit and a dragon crossbow and full Elder Chaos Druid robes. And not to mention he had a 1 mil key on him. That definitely made up for a few deaths that I had on Swerve that I didn't manage to get on video because sometimes I'd be out of frame uh, while recording on one account and instead of another. So apologize for that. Probably about two or three deaths uh, weren't shown. So yeah, that massive PK helped out a lot. And it was just stunning to see so much of a risk from such a low level in such deep wilderness. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Remember to hit the thumbs up button if you are or comment below. And if you do enjoy these PK videos, feel free to leave any suggestion as to different locations to check out whether it be on my main account, my low HP build, or of course my 20 defense pure. I would love to hear your guys' suggestions. Did manage to kill this gold farmer. Not a PKer, I know, but you can't say no to that Avarice amulet. 1.4 mil. I knew it'd be a minimum of 1 mil, especially with that web weaver, so beautiful kill there. Got this person to almost die to me multiple times, but they did manage to get away. Very unfortunate. Big newbie. I don't know what that guy was doing, but cowboys done for. Not my proudest key, but oh well. Uh, moving on though, I think I destroyed it, and then I found this guy who was a much lower level. Uh, didn't even have an amulet. Poor guy, but you know, nice pink hat and not even leather boots. He didn't even have any shoes on. 200k from him. I loved all the different people that would be hopping into these worlds. And the coolest thing about this video is that they all came to me. I didn't hop a single time. I think we chose like four total different worlds throughout the uh, two days that this video took to do. And the only time we would ever hop worlds is if it was just a little too slow and not enough people were hopping into it. So yeah, this was a really good method to get people to come to me and it saved me the hassle of having to consistently hop. So it was really nice. Very relaxing grind to do. Had a pretty Pretty fair fight against this guy and we did get the kill he was a little surprised there but yeah 2.5 mil that light ballista don't really see those too often with these loot keys but really nice nonetheless following that 260k he did want a rematch so instead of killing him with the mall spec we killed him with the surge because i didn't even have my spec back yet so yeah he was probably more surprised the second time 353k this time though four three two one telly block out and not quick enough. That was painful. Very unfortunate. That fight did go the distance, so I wanted a rematch, and I... Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have wanted a rematch because that happened, but that just proves Granite Maul. You know, it's the way to go. That guy's 75 attack and he's still using a Granite Maul. And who can blame him? That Granite Maul coming through here. Oh, so good. But, you know, one thing about dying is you get to change up the fashion. So now we have Golden Mystic instead of Black and White Party Hat instead of a Hood. It's the little things, you know. But anyway, this guy, you know, he hopped into the world, logged out. Then he logged right back in. So I figured, well, all right, let's just rush him. Let's go for it. He's a PK or clearly. I mean, he's dressed like one. Well, I take that back. But either way, we did get the kill. We two hit him just as he returned from wherever he was at. And yeah, 2.9 mil key. Definitely did not expect a dragon pickaxe and a tentacle, but 
uh, yeah, I mean, hey, I'll take it. And then Swordfish, so. Oh, man. I You know, I love this game. I really do. 61 to the bot. We figure, you know, help out the community a little bit. So many rev bots. So many bots in general. I meant to do a video about bots this month, but it might be uploaded next month. I'm running a little bit late. A lot of videos that I got to do for you guys. 1000 Duke is on its way. 400 KC so far. And episode three of the Iron Man series. It's coming. It's coming. We got a lot of drops, all right? But I need a couple more, so stay tuned. Nothing like the crossbow to the G-Mall combination. If the special attack doesn't get him, the ending hit will. And uh, yeah, not a bad key from that bot as well. But moving back onto the PKers, uh, another unfortunate death there. That Defcon Wan guy. That was a pretty clever name. I just got that. Ancient Scepter I saw that he had. I'm not sure if he killed Phantom Muspa for the Ancient Icon or what, but I could have sworn you can only get that from killing Muspa, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. You know, I almost feel bad killing this level 59, but then again, what if I was a level 39? You know, he would be bullying me as much as I'm bullying him. So we did manage to get D Schlonger um, to drop to the floor there. 150k from him. Looks like the bots he was killing on average had 80k worth of chins. I mean, I swear, I think these chin bots bank like every 30. So is it even worth killing these chin bots? I don't know. And coming from a former chin bot killer, that's saying a lot. Well, that guy died again. That was the third time killing him, I think, this video. 220k from him. Now we have the return of Leather Boots once again. Let me look at this username. Peek at it there. I think I was a little attitude because he had rushed me. 170k, not bad. Looked like a new name to me, but either way, moving on, we have an AGS versus a Granite Mall for your main event tonight, and it didn't go too well, so... It wasn't the main event either. Uh, this is pretty interesting. This guy had a Ceradoman Strike, which I rarely run into uh, this, but he was a, with a small little team there, as you guys can see. So I figured if I kill him, I might as well kill the team too. After all, they kept trying to lure me to multi. So I figured if I am going to go to multi, I might as well make the numbers a little bit more in my favor. So we killed one, followed by two, followed by three. I think the only thing stranger than the gear choice of all those guys was their usernames, but it looks like I ruined their uh, night out at the uh, Chin Shop. But so either way though, uh, I think the last guy logged out. So following that, we did uh, three hit a bot real quick. I don't mean to kill so many bots, but why not? You know, sometimes you can get them, sometimes you can't. Now this guy here wasn't specifically a PKer, but he did try to click on me. So, uh, you know, he had that skull protection on, but we took him down anyway. 175k was a long fight, but full telly block ensured the kill. Well, we all know who this is. Leather Boots coming in. The same guy from however many minutes ago. Uh, leather Gloves too. And this time we actually got his crossbow. I kind of feel bad. I feel like that was that guy's bank, but you know, he's killing chin bots. He probably has some money in there. Hopefully. Well, we're less than 5k away from 99 strength, getting some uh, very slow XP here with the Granite Mall special attacks. 266k from that bot. Nice surge for the KO here on a, a fellow pure. Well, I should say not fellow, but he's one defense, I'm 20. And we got 150k from him. Now, this next guy wasn't a PKer. I, I, I kind of felt bad about this, but I just never run into people with a Ranger's tunic and a Web Weaver bow. So it kind of, uh, I don't know, it just made me want to kill him. Surprisingly, 856. 6k but uh, maybe Karma did catch up to me because I did get lured into multi after that by this team of two and uh, I wanted to take out my anger on them. I did keep my smoke staff on that death on Swerve but I figured I'd log into my main and uh, do what I could so I killed the higher level one for him and his granite gloves and berserker helmet. 300k from him. A little bit of my money back. Not quite all of it but glad I didn't get smited. And there's another bot down for the count. I will say this was a lot of fun. This uh, The last two days here. I mean we did spend Spend all day every day here for two days straight and it was so much fun I was on four accounts uh, doing some skilling on two accounts and then of course PKing on the two that you've seen in this video got a nice kill there with a beautiful granite mall spec uh, pretty average key 200k not too bad now this guy I found uh, hopping and he instantly logged out so I figured for the first time ever in two days I was gonna hop and try to find him so I went down three worlds and I did actually find him I killed him at the very beginning of this video and once again at the very end, we got a beautiful key, 1.4 mil. Man, yeah, he was very upset about that, so. All right, now it is time to wrap up this incredible journey with the main account. All of these following fights happened uh, pretty much in the last hour of filming, which was today in the morning around about 10 a.m. EST. I had such good luck in these fights that I figured I might as well stop when I was ahead, and all the chinchampas had been caught, a lot of kills have been credited for, and we made an incredible video out of it. So, yeah, we did get a nice kill there. Beautiful Abyssal Dagger loot. I guess they had a Void Waker 
too. 4.8 mil coming in, as well as that dragon crossbow. And now we have, yet again, another voider. One of them killed me, one of them escaped me. I've had no luck so far with these voiders, and this hit right here is a perfect example of that. That was just, oh, that was gut-wrenching right there. This guy's risk was so big, and I needed this kill to top this video off, and we did pull it off. That AGS really pulling through for me for a lovely 28 mil PK. That one you might have seen in the thumbnail. I wanted to save the best for last, and, you know, I had a lot of fun for the last two days at Black Chin Champa's. So here is the overall loot from my main account. 25 loot chests, 60.2 mil in overall loot. We have the Toxic Staff, the AGS, a Light Bearer, a lot of Wards, a uh, Abyssal Dagger quite a bit of uh, mystic sets as well as enchanted you know swamp bark we killed all sorts of different pkers but we mainly just focused on pkers so a total of 60 mil was made in 25 kills now we'll move on over to swerve's house let's go ahead and check out the kills on this account compared to the main we had 25 on the main 76 on the 20 defense pure 46 million in loot 47 mil rounded up uh three mil cash we have that accursed scepter quite a few elder sets um one smoke stuff out of all of that so it looks like a lot of people protected item but overall 47 mil made in 76 kills 107 mil made uh in pking total 60 mil in deaths so about 50 mil profit made from this video now there's only one thing left to do and that is of course get 99 strength uh i yeah i procrastinated this 99 for a very long time probably six months now at least but we finally did manage to get it all done with a dragon sword in nightmare zone i never even got a dragon scimitar guys you know me I, I stay weird like that so yeah we got a dragon long sword and uh got the strength cape looking real nice and that is about it for this one guys thank you so much for watching swerve's house will be back soon with 94 to 99 range completed and a new video to go along with it but uh other than that i have a lot more videos in the future for you guys near and far away thank you to the youtube channel members with a special shout out to deception z xx x and angel's blood and until next time mr no sleep out